Hi, it's Janet McHugh. Have you ever wondered how you're going to get your stovetop clean? It's either holiday coming and family coming to visit, or your mom's coming to visit, or your mother-in-law is coming to visit, or some special guy and you want your place to look really great. Yeah, me too. I've been there. I remember those days. Or you live in an apartment and you, that you rent and you don't want to pay that $50 cleaning fee because your stove's too dirty? Let me show you how, okay? I know how to keep your stove clean once you get it clean, too. I'll be right back. Let me set the camera up. Okay, so here we go. This is my stove. I know it's black and all you see is black. However, this is part of the way that I keep it clean when I'm not using it. I buy burner covers. They're cheap. You can buy them at any big box store like, yep, you guessed it, Walmart, Target, wherever you choose. You can buy them online. Buy whatever set suits your stovetop. Mine happens to be too little, too big. That's your first step. These you clean the same way you do your stovetop, and I'm going to show you how. So, I can't have me and your stove, my stove I should say, in the picture at the same time. First of all, this is for the easy clean. Your stove is just lightly dirty. Yep, you guessed it, window cleaner. I'm not going to be using my stove anytime soon. Spray it with window cleaner. Don't get it on your burners if you can help it. But you can spray the back. Grab your trusted chamois. You can buy these at big box store, auto parts store, just about any place. Okay. This is your quick fix. This is my stove doesn't look too bad. Just needs a little touch up. You know, that type of thing. You kept you've been taking care of it, you've been keeping it clean stove is okay. I just like to keep it clean between type of thing. Voila. Your stove is good. Okay. Now, first of all, here's some of my tricks. When you move into an apartment, go buy drip pans. Don't use the ones that come with the stove, especially if it's a brand new stove. Go buy drip pans. Take the drip pans that came with the stove, put them in a Ziploc bag, and put them away somewhere they're not going to get damaged. Take the cheap drip pans you bought at the store, like Walmart, Target, or online, put those in and use them. And as long as you're using them, use foil liners because that's going to make your cleaning a lot easier. See? My drip pans, my stove is over two years old. Let me just show you. I use my stove, oops, all the time, but you can't tell it because I take care of it. Sorry about that. And put this back together. Okay, there's your first clue. Buy drip pans if you're not, if you're renting I should say. Buy foil pan liners. Use Windex in between, works really well. Make sure that you, let me move this just a little. And pull your knobs off. See? Pull your knobs off. Clean back here. You can wash your knobs, but the more you put them in soap and water, or God forbid your dishwasher, dishwasher the more they're going to wear, especially if the numbers are on your knobs, okay? Pull your knobs off, clean them, put them right back on. Easy peasy. Got that? Okay. Your drip pan covers, you don't run these through the dishwasher easier either. Clean them like you would the top, stove top in between. These shouldn't be getting really dirty. They might get grease spray if you're cooking bacon on this burner. Leave the other lids on. You don't need them. If you're using your oven, one of your bur back burners is a vent. You can always tell it's a vent because when you look down in it, it has a vent that goes all the way down into the oven. Okay? Mine is right here. Okay? If you're using lids on your stove, make sure that the lid is off it when you use your oven. All right. Otherwise, just a peeling paint on your burner cover. So that would be that. Now, I'm going to show you this. It says Wyman's Glass 
cooktop, heavy duty cleaner and polish. Now you're first thinking this isn't a glass cooktop, okay? But when this gets really bad, in between you take all your burners off. I assume you know how, but just in case you don't, here's how you take your burner off. Let me see if I can. Okay. Lid. Lift up. Pull out. There. There. Take that totally out. Take all of them out. That way you have the full ring. See, mine's just a little dirty there. We'll wipe it while it's out. Take all of them out. Put this on. Let it dry white. Then rub it clean. Be careful you don't put too much on. It's not going to hurt your stove. It's going to hurt your elbows for rubbing all that elbow, using all that elbow grease to rub it back off. And there's how they snap back in. Okay. Now you can tell mine's a little off. See how it's sitting up? So I pull it back. There we go. Now it's in right. Now let me show you. Shake it up. I'm going to do a little spot in the center. I'll let it dry while I show you the rest of the stove. Well, maybe. It doesn't want to open for me today. There we go. Put a little spot in the center. Okay, it comes out white. You, well, I had a paper towel. They give you sponges for doing a glass cooktop, but because you're only doing the middle of your stove, you're not doing the actual burner, just dot it in like that, okay? It's not real heavy, let me show you. See how light that is? That's going to work just perfect to clean. Okay, so let me put you on pause again. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Now the front of your stove, this might look familiar if you watched my microwave cleaning techniques. For the front of your stove, it's just like the front of your microwave. Spray it. Glass top cleaner window cleaner. Rub the whole thing. I tell you, you can use this stuff for anything. You notice I'm getting the handle really good. Okay, if you feel like maybe there's something, oh, I feel like I got something, rub it good, you'll get the food off or whatever, the fingerprint or sticky fingerprints. Open the door up slightly, do the top of the door. Do the sides of the door. If a side of your oven is obtainable, do it. Okay, if the side of your stove, if you can get to it, do the side of your stove. Otherwise, do the sides of your door. Inside your oven, I highly recommend if you've got a self-cleaning oven, doing it when nobody's home. If you don't have a self-cleaning oven, I recommend Easy Off. Okay? So, I still have enough window cleaner on my rag, see how damp it is, that I can do the bottom drawer, and do all the way down, then I open it up, you can see I store pans underneath there, looks like I missed a little spot, there's something there, now my oven is nice and clean. I'll do my self-cleaning overnight and I turn every fan in the house on because it really does smell that bad. I don't care what anyone tells you, it does, okay? So now let's go back to the top and check and see how it's doing. Still a little tacky. See how it's starting to dry right here? Let me hit pause until that's dry. Okay, I'm back. So it's pretty much dry. There's a little dampness over there. I just want to show you. In there, you just rub. 
you can see where it was damp, but you can also see where it was dry. And I want to give you an idea. I'm not sure you're going to be able to tell the difference. Um, sorry about that. So right here is where I used it. And back there is where I didn't. Okay. To me that's a huge difference. You get the right angle and you can see the streaks. Which don't usually show up. I'll buff those again. But that is what it comes out like. And like we rent, so when I we move out, this will be what I do to the whole plate, to the all the black appliances, which is my stove and around the edge of the keypad. So, that being said, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful to you. There'll be other cleaning videos coming up, and my name is Janet McHugh, and I have a website, JanetMcHugh.com. Easy enough to remember. There'll be a link right down about there. I hope you enjoyed everything. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can find me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn, and Google+, Plus, and on my own website. So that being said, I hope this was extremely helpful to you, and look for more cleaning tips coming up soon. That's kind of my thing right now. I'm going to be doing some more makeup tips coming up very soon. Kind of have to be in the mood for those, though. So, that being said, thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye.